for example, let's say you come to visit me in New York City and I'm teaching in Manhattan. You come to class and then after class you're walking out and somebody mugs you, okay? Let's say they take your pocketbook and run down the street. Well, if you're where I teach in Manhattan, good news for you is it's right next door to a Dunkin' Donuts. And who for sure is going to be inside that Dunkin' Donut? One of New York City's finest. So you see a New York City cop in there and you say, hey, if you capture that guy, I'll pay you $1,000. The cop drops his donut, waddles down the street, falls on top of the guy, captures him. All out of breath, he says, all right, now you got to pay me the $1,000. Do you have to give that cop anything? No. Because that cop was already under a pre-existing legal duty to perform that act. So they really haven't given you anything. So even though you made the promise to pay them, you don't have to pay them anything. And don't write me letters about cops. I, I come from like, I got cousins, brothers, uncles, aunts. I, my, half my family's in the New York City police force, okay? So I, I can joke with them. But it's a true statement anyway. If you're in New York City and you're looking at Dunkin' Donuts, chances are you're